everybody, Frank Kern here, and today I want to talk to you about something that's a little, uh, a little unusual, I guess, for for an internet marketing, you know, a video, and that's a very powerful strategy that doesn't rely on copy, doesn't rely on uh, selling, doesn't rely on Google or AdWords. In fact, it's all about stuff that's right here between your ears, and it's a a, a strategy, uh, and I guess a practice of. Um, we'll call it visualization for lack of a better word and I have to tell you I had a little bit of trepidation about making this video for you but I've used visualization in my own life and my own business with such extremely uh, surprisingly good results extremely surprisingly good results I did that for my grammar teacher in eighth grade this is what, <laughs> that was for you you know uh, that it, it, I keep getting results from this over and over again so I'm just gonna go out on a limb and talk to you about it and uh, recently, I met Ryan Higgins from Australia, part of the uh, traveling band of visualization experts. Ryan and his <laughs> partners are currently traveling all over the world teaching this stuff. And um, you've got some, some ways to really expand on the whole technique of visualization and make it easier and uh, less like esoteric and, and sort of weird. So without more rambling from me, since you're the expert on this, I just enjoy the fruits of all the stuff that he knows, really. <laughs> Uh, tell us a little bit about your story and um, and some of the things that you, you've experienced as a result. Of okay, that. so I should, it's my turn to ramble now, isn't it's it? It's your turn. To <laughs> yeah, we can have a rambling contest. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, like, like Frank said, um, I, I understood that visualization was important, but I was just terrible at it. I, I, I found it boring. I didn't set aside the time to do it. Um, and I, I guess the, the journey just started for me with, I was just really trying to get ahead. Um, I, was, I was working in a factory. I used to get up at 4 a.m. every morning um, and go to this job that I hated. Uh, and I'd stay through the eight, nine hours there. And then I'd come home and try and start a business. And I'd jump online or I'd do some things. I imported some things. I, I, was, I became an expert at running businesses into the ground. Mm. I'd, I'd go to work, I'd go to a yeah, job. It's not as easy as it looks, really. <laughs> I mean, it takes a little bit of effort to run one completely into the ground. You can fail easily, but to really just level it. You've got to get in there and really start screwing up, you know. Well, I had this good strategy yeah. of going to work in the morning and uh, coming home and then losing it all in the business at night. Oh, okay. It was, okay. Yeah, it was a good use yeah. of my time, That's I right. thought. You have to pay as many taxes. There you go. Yeah. Um, so I, and I did, and I'm ashamed to say, I mean, I did this for years and it, it, it really started taxing my, my self-esteem. Like, I mean, I, I tried this for years. I mean, I wasn't trying to, you know, make a billion dollars. I wasn't doing it too hard. I just wanted to get ahead. So, you know, I, I, when I paid my groceries and paid my bills, like, you know, I wasn't scared the credit card was going to get snapped up in front of my face. Um, so I, I, I guess I did this and I, with all these tr tr uh, trying and failing with businesses, something became very apparent to me that I believed that the problem was completely internal. Mm -hmm. I thought for the, there's some reason I am not allowing money to come to me. And for some reason there's something, some part of me that says I'm not ready to have the fun, to be in the financial position that I thought I was, that I thought I wanted. And so I started investigating things like, you know, visualization and mindset and stuff like that. And I came across this, the law of attraction and, you know, made famous by the DVD, the secret, and that was on Oprah and all that sort of thing. And um, so I thought, okay, I, I need to start visualizing again. I, I tried to, I started to visualize and I, I cut out pictures in magazines and I put up things. I started saying affirmations and stuff like that, but it, it didn't feel cool. I was, just felt like I was- It's the kind of thing you don't want anyone to find out. Exactly. Like, <laughs> you put this thing up here behind the picture and then like, oh, you know, move the picture and look at the visualization point and like slide I know exactly what you mean. Cause exactly. it's, it's kind of hinky. I mean, to me, it was like, yeah, you know. Well, it's exactly the same trepidation you had about doing this movie. Yeah. It, this, this, you know, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm visualized, but I'm a little bit incongruent about it. Right. How can it be cool and how can it be fun? And so I was searching around YouTube um, one day and I, I just I saw something that was something that, that looked pretty cool. I was like, you know, that, that, that would motivate me. And I got the idea in my head. I thought, I'm going to make a movie about what I want my life to look like. Right. And I did that. It was uh, around about the 15th of December in uh, 2006. And I made this movie and I, I cruised the, the internet for some pictures and I downloaded all these cool pictures of things I wanted and I wrote out all these affirmations and... I put this together in a bit of a collage in, in what I later called a mind movie. Mm -hmm. But I did this mind movie in, uh, like I said, December 2006, and I'd gone from years of struggle and financial stress and credit cards being maxed out. In fact, I think at the time I had, um, had 
in debt, in credit card and personal loan debt, uh, which was just <laughs> killing me. <laughs> it was not a good place to be. I was in a world of hurt. Um, but then, so then I made this mind movie, and what it is, I watch this movie every day. I put this cool soundtrack to it, and it just turned out really cool. I started showing it to people, and they were like, hey, that's just cool. Can you teach me how to make one and all this sort of thing? And the core of this was that I wanted to achieve my dream. I wanted to be financially free. I wanted to be a successful entrepreneur. I wanted to give away that job. That was the main thing. If I could give away that job, I was like, that's a big tick off. Okay, I've achieved that very important goal. And from being you know, in this mountain of debt, within 90 days of making that my first mind movie, I had achieved all the things in it. It's financially free. Right. Um, I, was, I fired my boss. That was, without question, the highlight of my life to date. <laughs> <laughs> That was very, very cool. You, um, send them, you, you send them like interviews like this and go, I just want you to see this. <laughs> Here's me, you know, I, I, I travel around the world now yeah. and, you know, I just, just cruise from you know, different continents. And so if you ever need any help at the warehouse, <laughs> you, you can try to call me. Yeah. <laughs> Put an ad in this paper because I'm not... <laughs> exactly. So, so that was it. That was this big transformation. And I, I have to admit, like, I, I, I'd love to say I put this... You know, I pulled out the, the equations and I did all this, you know, physics stuff and I, I, there's some formula behind this mind movie. Right. But I, I, just, I just bumbled into it. I thought, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. I know visualization works. So there's just no doubt about that. I mean, with references off like The Secret and all the celebrities and you watch a, you know, a, a champion athlete. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you know. What do they do? They're, they're, at, the, they're at the starting one. What do they do? They're ch chatting to each other and talking about what they're going to do tomorrow. No, they are all laser focused and they're visualizing themselves winning that race. Every single successful champion athlete does right. that. There is no question that visualization works. I knew that bit, I just didn't know how to do it so it was cool. So I thought I'd try this and the results have just blown me away. And as I've gone through um, sort of over the last 12, 18 months, I've just escalated that and I've just started attracting bigger, cooler things into my life, like better experiences. And uh, it be, it be, it's become easier and easier. And I, I've noticed the, the, the cycle has gotten shorter of how long it takes me to manifest. Like, I mean, like I fired my boss, which I, at the time when I made my mind movie was really like unbelievable. That was like ninety percent of what the movie was about. It was, exactly. it was like you with like the Donald Trump, you're fired with your head facing <laughs> on him or something. Like you were fired. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, but that took ninety days. Now I'm at a point where when I put something in a mind movie, uh -huh. it's about two to four weeks, and I have it. That, I mean, what, you know, like, I, I believe you, right, obviously, because I've had a similar experience. We can talk about that in a minute. But why do you think that's happening? What's the, what could possibly be it? Because from a devil's advocate point of view, like, I'd yeah. be watching this and be going, okay, this dude is telling me I just make this little movie thing, you know, and have pictures and stuff. And then, like, blam, all my dreams come true. And I'd be like, uh-uh, I ain't buying it. Yeah. You know, this is too hokey. So what, what do you think is going on there that's making that whole deal come together? I think there's, there's definitely a couple of components and I think the first one is that every single idea, this couch, this house, everything we see, it was an image in someone's mind first. Mm -hmm. In order for it to be created and enter the physical world, someone had to conceive it, they then had to go around away and build it. And I believe that on a, on a physical level and on, a, on an energetic level that we all vibrate at a certain level. And when we hold certain pictures and images in our mind, mm -hmm. we, we resonate that frequency. And everything has a frequency. It's measurable by science. We can, this, this couch is emitting a frequency and we can actually measure that. And when you, and when you get this level of vibration and you hold this picture of your goals in your mind and you become that person, the universe just starts delivering everything you need, the tools and the resources, the money to achieve anything. And the speed with which it does it, that's the part that blows me away. It just comes to you in a flash. That's, well, you know, I can validate that whole story. And, and I was much more low-tech than you, and uh, I, I didn't even do this on purpose. It was right around, this is a weird coincidence, actually, I'm realizing it. Right at the same time you were making your movie in 2006, it was about 30 days after I had made mine. I think I, I made, it wasn't a movie, I'd written some stuff out, and this was like, I want to say November of 2006, maybe, or December of 2006, somewhere around there. And I was just trying to plan some things out, right? I was very unhappy because I'd reached all of this financial success, but I was still living in a town that I hated, and I didn't really like my house very much. And I was like, I had one of those moments of like, okay, uh, 
I should be really stoked right now because all these things have gone right, but I'm just really left with the empty bag going, okay, is this it? Like, what do I do now? You know, and it was a very unpleasant uh, and intensely uh, empty feeling. It really sucks. So, you know, I hope no one ever gets to that. So I sat down and I was like, all right, well, instead of just sitting around being unhappy, I'll just write down like what a perfect day would be like. And I was like, I just, I'm not even going to write all these goals. I'm just going to write out in present tense exactly what I would be doing if this were a perfect average day in my life. So I did it and uh, forgot about it. And I was like, I did it, and then I was like, okay, that was kind of nice, you know. I got myself into that state for a little while and kind of felt like I'd arranged some things in my brain somehow. Like if you have a ton of stuff that you have to do and then you, you make a list and then you're like, oh, I got it all out there. Okay, fine, stop like r running this OCD type loop in my head, you know. So I wrote all that stuff out and then uh, nine months later, I had moved all the way across the country to Southern California, a place I'd never been ever, just like randomly popped into my head, which I've completely fallen in love with, Paradise on Earth, and, and uh, had bought literally a dream home, you know, and was happy and had taken up like the sport of surfing, which I'm intensely passionate about, which I've wanted to do since I was little. And uh, it never dawned on me that exactly the, the life that I had painted out, so to speak, in making that document describing my perfect day, I matched identically to what I had written out. So it was like completely identical and I would never have known that to this day unless I had, had not opened up a box and I was moving and found the notebook that I'd written that on. Right. So I was like, man, you know, I wanna, uh, I was like moving and I was like, oh, I remember this thing I'm going through because I write, I'm a horrible record keeper. Like I don't have computer files. I just have like all these journals and notebooks with all kinds of schemes in them and I'll like, you know, write something down in one, forget about it and write something down in the other. So I was like, maybe there's some good stuff in here and I found it and I was like, no way. You know, this, this is unbelievable. And it was like, to the thing, like I described what I wanted my shower to look like. I have the same shower, but none of that was conscious in my mind. It just happened. So I'm a believer in this stuff. As weird as it sounds, you know, I'm like, you know, I've got to tell people about it because it happened to me. Now, I didn't even do anything nearly as cool as what you did. I think when you combine the modalities of like music and actually seeing the photographs of what you want and watching that over and over again, it's really powerful. Well, that's what I was going to say. You mentioned that you wrote things down in the present tense. Yeah. That's a really important component because um, we, 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 we throw in some neuro-linguistic techniques mm -hmm. to, uh, to when we help people make their mind movie, and that is one of them. And there's lots of things. You mentioned modalities. That's also so important because so it's fine. You're great. You're watching this picture. You're watching this movie, but then you also have the music coming in, mm -hmm. and things are written in the present tense. And when everything's kind of lined up, what happens is that you, on a cellular level, you change as a human being, and you begin to resonate at different frequencies. And I think that is the, the, the final thing that sort of ties it up and makes you actually change. Right. And, and you, the, another thing is, you, as you change, you start to notice and appreciate all these very, very cool things that start to happen in your life. Because you, usually you start off with little things and you'll just notice and it's like, oh, that, that was cool. You know, that, that opportunity didn't come my way for the last so many years. Now all of a right. sudden it is. And, and your life becomes this continual summation of these moments of gratitude whereby you're just thinking, wow, this is crazy. So I mean, like this is that 18 months ago, I was uh, you know, in, in Australia in this, in this situation I've just described. And I got that financially free, it's great. And I thought, okay, so how do I want to design my life now? I've ticked off that goal, money's not a problem, what do I do? And I'm like, okay, well, I want to travel around the world, I want to live an endless summer, um, and because of my experience with this mind movies, I'll just I'll become an evangelist. I just want to get this out there to as many people as possible. Right. So I thought, okay, what should, what should I do? Okay, well, first of all, uh, I made a mind movie about how I'm going to live this endless summer, I'm going, to, I'm going to move to America, and whilst I'm there, I'm going to meet the people that I need to meet to help me get this out to the world. And I had a moment just like that, um, actually on your birthday. I was sitting right there on that balcony. Right. Uh, we were sitting there, we were having a beer on, on, on the evening of your birthday. The sun was setting over the Pacific Ocean. I'm just thinking, this is a beautiful summer's night. I'm sitting here with somebody who has a lot of knowledge on getting a message out on the internet, because I knew very little about the internet at the time. And I'm like, That's okay. a big fad. <laughs> it'll, it'll probably die. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And I just had this moment. I go, this is just perfect for me right now. Right. And in the months that uh, since then, um, the people that have approached me uh -huh. is incredible. I mean, all those guys that I looked up to in secret, all the gurus, you know, Bob Proctor and John Asaraf and Jack Canfield, they've actually emailed me. And did you make a movie about that, like in regards to this whole thing? Specifically about that, I said, I, I need some people to help me get this out to the world. And I specifically had their photos on there. Their photos would come up to me in my mind movie. 
and that's really freaky. You know, I mean, it's cool, but it's just like, good <laughs> lord. But, that's, but the level of detail right. is, is what blows your way. You tell the story about your shower. Yeah. You, you wrote down what shower you have in your dream yeah. house? Yeah, I did. It was in uh, marble, and it's like everything was exactly to And I didn't even think about it until I saw the thing I'd written down. I was like, this is too weird, you yeah. know? I mean, this is like, good lord. But it happened, then I was, even down to like the type of friends I had, you know, because I made friends with all these people out here. I never met them or conceived of their existence in my life, obviously, yeah. because, you know, I lived in another place. And even to the to the level of detail of the stuff we talked about at lunch, you know. So yeah. we talk about this sort of thing and not this sort of thing that happened. It was like <laughs> this is crazy, you know. So I was just like, okay, well, it, it works. Yeah. You know, it can sound as weird as it as you want it to sound, but you know, I'm I'm going to keep doing it for sure. <laughs> and I'm sure at some point, you know, we will get to this point where science literally understands and can track can yeah. exactly what happens on our on a cellular level and whatever. But for right now, it just works. Yeah, really. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it. I just yeah. just keep on bringing these things into my life, and right, it's awesome. Well, it's you know, I'm I'm relieved to know that uh, that we're not the only ones talking about this stuff, and we're somewhat validated by major media. You know, at least we can say, well, hey, it was on Oprah, so therefore it must be. <laughs> you know, that, Everything on Oprah is true. You know, yes, it's totally <laughs> true because this sort of thing was on Oprah, and therefore we're not completely out of our minds. But you've uh, you've got some stuff to give away. So yeah, what I did is I actually made six pre-made mime movies because not everybody has the technical ability to make their own mime movie. Not everybody has the, the, the time to put to it. So what I thought was I'll make these pre-made mime movies generic on six key areas of your life. And the, the major one is money because most people want more money. So I made a mime movie about how you can, what the person you need to be to attract more money and how opportunities come to you, how things just become easier and easier and money flows to you continuously. I uh, made one on how to attract the perfect guy, how to attract the perfect girl. Made one on spiritual fulfillment, closer family relationships, and of course another big one is health and weight loss. So what I thought I'd do is I, I, that the best way to get this message out is to just go ahead and give these people. So on the right hand side of this page, um, there'll be a place, so just uh, let me know where to send them and I'll get those movies to you straight away. You know, I gotta tell you, man, I wish I had something like this. Uh, I wish I had even known or even sort of halfway believed in this stuff prior to the day that I had accidentally stumbled upon it when I wrote out what I thought my perfect day would be like. Uh, and especially something as cool as just like getting the pre made free uh, movies sent straight to me. So I think it's a good offer. It's a generous thing that you're doing. And please, I mean, you know, even if you're watching this right now and you're thinking, this is a little bit weird. Uh, first of all, you're right. It is a little <laughs> bit weird, you know, but I'm telling you, this stuff works. So just give it a try. It's free. Brian's going to send it to you. It's really, really neat stuff. And I firmly believe it will help you. So uh, thanks for watching this video. We enjoyed making it for you. And, uh, We'll see you later. Thanks a lot. See ya.